Hey crew, it's Mary. It's 11.49, but it's really 8.49, so I'm just all crazy jacked up, and I'm home, and I'm in my bed, and I'm so glad to be home and in my bed, and in, in the humidity, and my eyes don't hurt anymore, and my nose is all normal now. <laughs> But I'm not normal. I'm so emotional. This whole night has been, or day, has just been this weird emotional roller coaster. I started out emotional leaving the hotel, just not wanting to leave and not wanting to, for the summit to end. I feel like I was, like most of us, I'm sure, was looking forward to it for so long. And it felt like it was going to, it was so far away. It was so far away. And then all of a sudden, it was summit time and we were packing our bags and and we, our bags weighed too much. I mean, we're almost having to pay a million dollars to put them on the airplane and just all this crazy stuff. And then now it's over and I'm just was feeling really emotional. And then my husband called me and I found out that here I haven't seen him for a week. And he was actually in the car driving to Atlanta because he had some meeting first thing in the morning. So I wasn't going to see him when I got home and he can't come in next weekend and I won't see him till next week. And I'm just... And, and and he write, wrote me this sappy, sappy note and left it on my pillow. And so that was sad. Then Nick Melendez walked across the freaking Grand Canyon. I mean, I'm cried my eyes out. And I, I just was going through all these crazy, weird emotions. And, um, and then Andy posts, you know, that wonderful message, Andy, that was so sweet. And I just felt this need to do this video and I'm not going to cry because I'm just not, I'm not going to cry. Um, but I just feel like I speak for, for all of us. And I want to start out by saying, Jimmy, my gosh, Jimmy, thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to cry. Thank you so much for your leadership and for this summit and all that went into this. And Kelly, I mean, th I've been on the other end. I know how much work goes in to making something like that happen. And, um, the pre-summit meeting was off the chain. I mean, the fact that we had John Cogden and John and Tony, I mean, I, it was ridiculous. And the, and the four of you leaders up there talking to us and um, telling us, you know, how much you care about all of us and, and, and having met other coaches at the summit who they were like, we don't even really know who our group is. And I thought, how incredibly sad is that? And how much those of us who don't know any better take advantage of that sometimes not on purpose but we don't realize what we have in you Jimmy as a leader until we talk to someone who doesn't have anything like that they don't have any support so thank you so much Jimmy thank you so much for being our leader you know there was no um, crystal award that we handed you and maybe you didn't walk across the big stage to get the leadership award but I know I speak for all of your coaches <clears throat> not gonna cry in the crew that you are our number one leader. You are the number one leader, and we're so blessed to have you. And Kelly, all that goes into assisting with stuff like this, we're all just so appreciative. Um, and I just wrote down everyone's name that I could possibly think of that I either met this week or that I wish I would have spent more time with. And I just want to start with Jamil. My gosh, you're my P90X certification buddy. I feel like you're a brother from another mother. You are so awesome and it was so wonderful to get to know you better Jamil you are a phenomenal man you are a phenomenal friend um, I'm sure I'm an amazing physician and I I look up to you 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 inspire me um, you're just so real and it was really awesome to get to spend those first two days with you as we um, got our rear ends kicked <laughs> in a workout and then learned a ton about P90X um, and you know, of course, Andy, you're, you're awesome. And I'm so grateful for all the times that you've reached out to me and offered your help. Um, you're not looking for anything in return. You're just being a genuine friend. And thank you for that. And Bridget, you're so incredibly beautiful. You, your beauty radiates from the inside out girl. And I just, the fact that you thought I was weird and now you're still willing to be my friend. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm sorry, my lips are still dry. My eyes still freaking hurt <laughs> from the hotel. Man, making me laugh. Picking pimples on the airplane. Um, but you are you are so awesome. And thank you both for letting me crash your dinner last night um, and join you and be a third wheel. And my gosh, Suhana and Maribel and Anessa and um, uh, Edna and Emma um, and Simple. I just, I think about you guys. You You guys are so young and you are wise beyond your years, wise beyond your years. If I 
were that driven. I mean, I was, I was pretty mature at your age, but you guys are so driven to, to have joined an organization like this, stepped out there, paid that kind of money and came to summit at your age. I'm so incredibly impressed by, by all of you that I just listed and I'm sure I'm leaving people out. So please forgive me for that. But you guys are rock stars, man. You, you have your whole world ahead of you and you are already like flying by some of us. So keep it going. Um, maybe you can help some of us other folks out who are trying really hard to get there. Um, but I just want to tell you, you are clearly wise beyond your years. So hold on to that. Continue the personal development. You are going to soar in your life and you're going to help touch so many lives that you're like, you are just going to be so blessed by, by what you're able to give. John Venable, it was awesome to get to know you the very last day. Um, sorry I didn't know you or didn't recognize you. That's just, I guess, part of the whole gig with knowing people online in these little teeny tiny square box pictures. But um, thank you for providing laughter during the celebration. Your little commentary in my, I guess it was my left ear, the, the whole night was just absolutely cracking me up. You're, you're a hoot. And John Hayes, you'll just always be an ass. I'm sorry. I mean, that's just who you are. You're, the, you're an ass to me. Um, and, you know, I'm kidding. Everyone else... We're just joking. I just like to call John Hayes an ass. That just works out well. And Kobe, I'm just simply obsessed with your pecs. I'm sorry. I just kept touching them. You probably think I'm some kind of crazy, whack job, married woman. I wasn't trying to be inappropriate. I just was incredibly enamored by how large your pecs are. Um, nice job on Body Beast. And I, I was so proud to know you on that stage during Classic. Um, and just to look up there and like all of us look at you and know how much hard work you put into that, um, you should be so proud. And not only for your accomplishments walking across that stage and body beast and your physical appearance, but just your leadership to your group. Um, you, <laughs> what a family you are forming with Lean Nation and they, um, they love you and you're so sincere and it just just spews out of your pores and you're going to help so many people um who are going to help so many people who are help, going to help so many people um and i'm inspired by you and i just i'm proud to know you i'm crying i'm not gonna cry um and then there's of course my homies my roomies christy and sherry um how fun it was to room with you guys thank you so much for joining me um christy it was fun all year to just look forward to rooming with you and then found out Sherry was going to room with us. And, um, it was just great. And, it, and I'm sorry that you had to leave early. That, that really sucked. But the little bit of time we spent together, I just so appreciated being able to spend that time, you know, once we got back to the room and sort of chit chat about stuff and, um, Christy, man, I'm just, we're going to be, we're just going to rock it out as success partners. Thank you so much for uh, agreeing to be my success partner. I know I keep saying this and Jimmy don't yell at me, but um, what an unfair advantage I have to have you help me and mentor me. I have so much to learn from someone like you, and I hope that you can learn from me as well. <laughs> Maybe you can learn from my mistakes. Isn't that how it all rolls? Um, just kidding. Um, my gosh. And then there's Tara. You're crazy, girl. I love it. I love your energy. You're so positive and bubbly, and um, the glass is clearly half full in your world, which is kind of how I am, and people think that makes me kind of weird probably like Bridget thought I was weird, but, um, I love that energy. I love it so much. And so, you know, sky's the limit, man, just take it and just go nuts. Um, oh God, I'm going to start crying again. Uh, to Lynn and Karen, I, I, I just, you know, I, I feel like I've known you guys forever. And to Lynn, we, we are sisters. Sorry. <laughs> we just are. I mean, there's so many things about the two of us that are so much alike. And, um, we had a really cool conversation about being successful business woman, women and how, um, it's probably not a benefit, but more of a deficit. Um, and we need to sort of get out of our own way. So it was cool to have that conversation with you because I was kind of thinking it already. And, um, anyway, we'll talk more about that girl. Um, but I love you. You're beautiful inside and out. And I'm so inspired by your story and your progress. And thank you for allowing me to share that with all of my people my peeps, um, who, who are in your boat, who, who can relate to you, um, and not me. So, so thank you for that. Please use my story when you need to anytime. Oh gosh. And then there's Brian and Brandy. I mean, we all just want to sit in your living room with you. I mean, are you kidding me? All of your pictures and your videos and working out in, in your living room and the, that 
the awesome house and the paneling and it's so warm and inviting and you guys are just like that in person and it was just so cool to spend time with you um felt like I needed your autograph or something I don't know but um anyway I I just you know again I feel like we're we're all just best friends Tim and Jed, same thing. My gosh, can, can we come to your kitchen? I mean, we love your new kitchen. We all feel like it's our new kitchen, and we want you to cook us up an awesome, vegan, healthy, ultimate reset meal. Um, and we'll just sit on the floor if we have to, if there's not enough space for everybody. Uh, we love you guys so much, and your energy is, and your compassion, and your just willingness to help all of us is so evident, and we're so grateful for that. And then there's Ross and Nick. You guys are just two crazy little guys that I just really appreciated and loved getting to know. I wish I would have had more time to get to know each of you better. Um, but, you know, keep hitting the wall. You you guys get on the crew wall and you ask good questions and you you are responsive to other people. And, and uh, maybe we'll get to know each other a little bit better at the next summit. But um, Ross, man, you're just combat, man. I don't know what else to say. It's like Ross combat. I mean, they just go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly or something. I don't know. I'm really goofy tonight. I'm sorry. Um, Kelly Clay, man, happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. And, and wow, that was such a cool post that you, you did about, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone and chasing those people down in the lobby and getting their information. And we've all been there. It's like, you know, how do you how do you go over that hump and ask someone to give you their information when you just had a really awesome conversation with them. But like once you do it once, then it becomes really natural and it feels a lot better. And, and yes, everybody, I got several, um, emails and phone numbers and Facebook contacts, um, on the airplane, off the airplane and in the airport. So hopefully you guys did as well. Um, and then there's just a list of people. I feel like I didn't even hardly get a chance to talk to, um, long enough, Justin and Michelle, uh, Lorelai, Dana, Lynn, Solange, talk to you briefly. You, you're a rock star girl. I love it. And I wish we'd got, had more time together. Um, and Wade, you and your wife, it was so nice to meet you. And congratulations on your award. Congratulations to Lynn on your award as well. That's so awesome. And I remember you telling me the other night that you had a goal to walk across the stage at Summit this year. And you walked across the stage. It might have not have been the big stage girl, but you walked across the stage. Um, and so we all have our goals for next year and I, I just, I'm sorry, I'm just really emotional and I just wanted to sort of make this stupid little video before I went to bed because I'm really not tired enough to go to sleep right now. It's, it's nine o'clock really sort of, um, Jimmy, once again, thank you. We love you so much. You and Kelly, thank you for being our leaders. I'm not going to cry. Um, and crap, I got to go back to the other job tomorrow. I just don't want to, Ugh. Uh, 900 million emails, I'm sure too, but, um, the to-do list is so long and I almost just can't wait for tomorrow's lunch break so I can shut my door and, and just get rocking, um, on knocking them out. So love you all. Cannot wait to see you again. God knows when it'll be maybe next summit, but we'll be together real soon. And, um, man, jump on it. Everybody get, let's get going. We got a crew call tomorrow. I'm sure Jimmy's going to be all over our asses, um, about getting our to-do list going, but, um, let's do it, man. Let's just, let's end the trend. Let's help these people. Love you. Peace out.